What's up guys, this is Massey, welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you how to verify 10x plus y times 10x minus y equals to sine squared x minus sine squared y over cosine squared x minus sine squared y. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start from the left hand side, 10x plus y times 10x minus 1. You know, 10 is sine over cosine, so it's sine x plus y over cosine x plus y times sine x minus y over cosine x minus y. So then you expand it, you have sine x cosine y plus sine y cosine x over cosine x cosine y minus sine x sine y times sine x cosine y minus sine y cosine x over cosine x cosine y plus sine x sine y then what we can do, we can use the difference of squares and have sine x cosine y squared minus sine y cosine x to the power of 2. And here we have cosine x cosine y to the power of 2 minus sine x sine y to the power of 2. Then what I'm going to do, I'm going to change this cosine y to sine and cosine x to sine x. Same thing here for cosine y and same thing here for sine x. So this one sine x times cosine y to the power of 2 is the same as sine squared x times cosine squared x. So that's going to be sine squared x. Instead of cosine squared y, I will write 1 minus sine squared y minus, here we have sine squared y. Instead of cosine x or cosine squared x, I'm going to write 1 minus sine squared x because, you know, sine squared plus cosine squared is 1. And here in the denominator, we have cosine squared x. Instead of cosine squared y, I'm going to write 1 minus sine squared y minus here we have sine x or sine squared x sine squared y instead of sine squared x i'm going to write one minus cosine squared so one minus cosine squared x times sine squared y then we expand it sine squared x times one is going to be sine squared x minus sine squared x times sine squared y sine squared x sine squared y sine squared y times 1 plus negative sine squared y times negative sine squared x is going to be sine squared x sine squared y cosine squared x times 1 minus sine squared is going to be cosine x cosine squared x minus cosine squared x sine squared y minus 1 times sine squared y plus cosine squared x sine squared y. At the end, as you see here, we have negative sine squared x sine squared y, and here we have sine squared x sine squared y. These two cancel out, and we're going to end up having sine squared x minus sine squared y. And on the denominator, we have negative cosine squared x sine squared y. And here we have cosine squared x sine squared y. So these two cancel out and we're going to end up having cosine squared x minus sine squared y. So that's exactly what we see on the right hand side of this 
question. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave me a comment if you have any question and I get back to you as soon as possible. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You can have access to many other videos regarding trigonometry and other topics in math, chemistry and physics. Thank you for watching and have a great day.